You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room Hello, just did something to me And I've been in a daze ever since the day that we met Exodus 14, 14 The Lord himself will fight for you Just stay calm What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous Every time you walk into the room I'm speechless Do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love honor and cherish her and that forsaking all others for her alone you will faithfully perform to her all the duties which a husband owes to a wife as long as you both shall live Thank you. and as you look into the eyes of your bride please repeat after me I Justin I Justin take you Deanna take you Deanna to be my friend to be my friend my lover my lover the mother of my children, the mother of my children, and my wife, and my wife. I will be yours in times of plenty. I will be yours in times of plenty, and in times of want. And in times of want. In times of sickness. In times of sickness. And in times of health. And in times of health. In times of joy. In times of joy. And in times of sorrow. And in times of sorrow. In times of failure. In times of failure. And in times of triumph. And in times of triumph. I promise to cherish. I promise to cherish and protect you. And protect you. To care. To care and respect you. And respect you. To comfort. To comfort and encourage you. And encourage you. And stay with you. And stay with you for all eternity. For all eternity. Deanna, you are about to take this man, whose hand you hold, to be your lawfully wedded husband. Do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses? that you will love, honor, and cherish him, and that forsaking all others for him alone, you will faithfully perform to him all the duties which a wife owes to a husband, as long as you both shall live? I do. I mean, worried there. You're shaking your head. And as you look into your groom's eyes, please repeat after me. I, Deanna. I, Deanna. Take you, Justin. Take you, Justin. To be my friend. To be my friend, my lover, my lover, the father of my children, the father of my children, and my husband, and my husband. I will be yours in times of plenty. I will be yours in times of plenty, and in times of want, and in times of want, in times of sickness, in times of sickness, and in times of health, and in times of health, in times of joy, in times of joy, and in times of sorrow, and in times of sorrow, in times of failure, in times of failure, and in times of triumph. I promise to cherish. I promise to cherish and respect you. And respect you. To care. To care and protect you. And protect you. To comfort. To comfort and encourage you. And encourage you. And stay with you. And stay with you for all eternity. For all eternity. 
The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of the precious metal of which it consists represents the purity of your love and the oneness of your relationship. Also, a ring is a circle with no ends. This represents the timeline of the vows you have just taken. They too have no end. Your promises are forever. So as a token of your vows, and as a reminder of your never-ending promises that you've just made, you will now give each other a ring. Justin, I ask that you take Deanna's <laughs> ring from your best man and place it on your bride's hand and repeat after me. Deanna, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder. Let it be a reminder that I will always be by your side. That I will always be by your side. And I will always be faithful to you. And I will always be faithful to you. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you. I choose you. To be my wife. To be my wife. This day and always. This day and always. And now Deanna, please take Justin's ring from the best man. And as you place it on your groom's hand, repeat after me. <laughs> Justin, I give you this ring. Justin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder. Let it be a reminder. That I will always be by your side. That I will always be by your side. And I will always be faithful to you. And I will always be faithful to you. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you. I choose you. To be my husband. To be my husband. This day and always. This day and always. Deanna and Justin, according to God's word and upon the covenant that you have made to one another before God and all these witnesses here this evening, it is now my honor and privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. Justin, you may now kiss your bride. Woohoo! Justin, Indiana, smock everyone! <laughs> uh, he's kind. He's very sweet. He's very selfless. He, there's just... He's just cute. He's got a cute personality. He's really funny. Um, so that is something I appreciate about him because usually on my really bad days, he usually makes me laugh pretty hard. So. <laughs> No matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, she always puts on a smile and just toughs through it and makes it work. He's a gentleman. Um, he's he's very trustworthy and kind. Um, I couldn't ask for a better person in my life. Now let's meet the members of our wedding party. Flower Girls, Caitlin, Chloe, and Emily Smock. Bridesmaids, Shayna, Geisler, escorted by groomsmen, Jarrett Smock. Bridesmaid, Meredith Foster, escorted by groomsmen, Todd Fuller. Bridesmaid, Rochelle Elliott, escorted by Groosman, Kyle Smock. And now, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise? It is my honor and privilege to introduce you for the first time in public as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Justin and Deanna Smock. You lit me up, you made me 
feel as down I was enough We danced the night away We drank too much I held your hair back when you were throwing up Then you smiled over your shoulder For a minute I was stone cold sober I pulled you closer to my chest And you asked me to stay over I said I already told you I think that you should get some rest I knew I loved you then But you'd never know Cause I played it cool And I was scared of letting go I knew I needed you But I never saw it. But I wanna stay with you Until we're grand With some breakfast in bed I'll bring you coffee with a kiss on your head And I'll take the kids to school Wave them goodbye And I'll thank my lucky stars for that night When you looked over your shoulder For a minute I'll forget that I'm older I wanna dance with you right now Oh, and you look as beautiful as ever And I swear that every day you'll get better You make me feel this way somehow I'm so in love with you And I hope you know Darling, your love is more than worth its weight in gold We've come so far, my dear Look how we've grown I'd like to start by saying congrats to the bride and groom, um, obviously for the whole I do thing, but making it through the whole wedding planning process. Um, from what I hear, that was a bunch of fun. Um, and it, it's a long process, and it is trying on any relationship, and it goes all the way back to the wobbly need, shaking hands proposal of, will you be mine forever? Um, or whatever Justin had said. <laughs> um, you know, I got to say, I was a bit surprised when Justin asked Kyle and I about a wedding toast. I thought, you know, what a fool. <laughs> you're, you're, you're putting a microphone in my hand in front of our entire family and expect me to talk about you for a couple of minutes. Um, and, and Mom still says that he's the smart one. So... I, um, so naturally, my excitement in this opportunity was pretty much through the roof. Uh, you know, I was thinking, I got to make this moment count. Um, a lot of things I wanted to say, um, you know, how can I embarrass my brother the most in front of everybody? Um, and then I thought, you know, I, maybe not, I'll leave that for Kyle, and he let me down. Apparently you're not getting that from him either. Um, so spoiler alert, this is not that kind of wedding toast. Decided to take the high road, if you will. Get in his head, save it for later. Um, (laughs) 
So it, it was the, the same day that he brought up the wedding toast, I heard a quote on the radio. Um, it's a quote by Timothy Keller. He writes in his book, The Meaning of Marriage, that to be loved but not known is comforting but superficial. To be known but not loved is our greatest fear. But to be truly loved and fully known is to be in the presence of God's love. And Justin can be a bit hard to get to know. He's, he's not the wear his heart on his sleeve kind of guy. He uh, can be a bit standoffish. Some people might think he's a jerk. And you wouldn't be wrong. Um, and I'm guessing Deanna might be a little hard to get to know too, as seeing as how I really don't know much about her either. <laughs> you got to come around more. Uh, on top of this, circumstances change. It's, it's hard to know somebody and to continue to know somebody. People change, ideas change, jobs change. Uh, this world's gotten so fast, everything changes as fast as the weather. And I pray that through all of the change to come, you continue to get to know each other. That you never stop learning about each other. That you take time to consider each other's plans, wants, needs, desires. That you remain willing to sacrifice for each other and communicate everything and never stop communicating. It is the only way to be fully known and it takes effort on both sides in conversation. Make an effort to understand what the other is saying and not saying. Avoid the idle words and cutting remarks and phrases that start with you always or you never. And tough times are inevitable and sometimes mostly unavoidable. Those are the times that we are meant to cling tight to one another and look to God, the designer of marriage, for answers. It's no different than when a light comes on on your dashboard. Most of us do we not look to the designer of the car and the owner's manual for answers. All marriage questions can be answered by the word of God. The Bible starts with a marriage, as our pastor Bill uh, mentioned during the ceremony, and it ends with a marriage. And we're told that marriage was instituted by God and that it was designed to be a reflection of the saving love of God for us in Jesus Christ. He sacrificed for us so that we can become the bride of Christ. And so you too should sacrifice for one another and never stop learning about each other. Never stop communicating. Pray that you are constantly provided with the strength and the courage to be the husband and wife that you were meant to be. So if you would, please join me in raising your glass. To Justin and his bride. All right, next up we got Kyle. Justin, I love you. I'm happy for you. I wish you nothing but happiness for the rest of your life. You and Deanna, both. Welcome to the family, Deanna. You look absolutely beautiful tonight. Thank you for not only loving Justin, except Olivia, treating her as one of your own. I Seriously, if everyone can just raise a glass. I look at her as a sister. She is my sister now. So thank you, and I love you both. I wish you nothing but a lifetime of happiness. If everyone can raise a glass to the both of them. Love you both. Now, this is a story all about how Justin and Deanna came to be here now. We'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, tell you how we came the hell to be right here. Okay. Ready? Go. Wait. Oh, for the beat. In the Paducah holler, born and raised on the soft bell fields where she spent most of her days. 
Slaying and playing and breaking all the rules. She went on one day and we all got schooled. We thought to ourselves, Deanna's gonna marry this guy someday. All right, cut it. Let's get serious. All right. My, uh, my name is Shanna. Shabanga. Shabana. Shanna like banana. What? Shenanigans. For those who don't know me, um, Deanna and I have been friends for many years. We are like um, yin and yang. Who doesn't love this girl, right? She has a great career. She's got three wonderful children. She's just everybody's bestie. There was always one little thing that was missing. And then Justin came along. And he just was that puzzle piece that has completed her. So welcome, but remember, we, we're watching you, boy. All right, your turn. Hi, hello. So for you, those of you who don't know me, my name is Meredith Foster and I'm a registered nurse and currently work at St. Elizabeth with Deanna on 1B. Though I've known Deanna for just a few, 1B, which is, those are the nurses. Go ER! <laughs> so um, I've known Deanna for just a couple years since she started on 1B. It was quickly evident to me that we would become fast friends, mostly due to our similarities, with both of us being loud, fun, hilarious, and our shared of sick humor, and what a sick, sick sense of humor that it is. I personally know a lot of people, and a majority of them being nurses, but there are truly just a few gifted nurses that I have the pleasure of knowing, and I hope to one day be as skilled and knowledgeable as them. Deanna Adams is truly one of them. My quick, her quick, oh, Deanna Smock, sorry. Her quick wick, her quick thinking and heart of gold truly allow her to provide the best care to her patients. I think this is one of the many reasons that people are drawn to her, Justin included. As many crazy busy night shifts that Deanna and I worked together, they always ended good, or we at least had fun along the way while getting our butts handed to us, not knowing which end was up on some of the night shifts. Many nights we spent with our idol, Beth Parton, on the weekends, complaining about men or school, or just listening to Deanna tell us funny stories about the holler and the crazy patients that she has had from the Thirsty Beaver, a bar in which I'm dying to go to, and then how happy we all were to finally hear of this new beau, Justin, that she had started talking to. And let me stop right there and give credit where credit is due to Ivy Smock for fixing them up. Because Lord knows, if I didn't give her credit, she would tell me afterwards. So let's give her a round of applause. So anyways, when I finally got to hear about their very first date, which was March 20, sorry, May 29th, 2016, at Crestview Hill Starbucks, you could tell that Deanna's heart of gold was truly smitten. And I'm sure Justin's was too, because how could they not adore each other immediately? Two sweet, genuine people who deserve to be in love and in, re and in return loved by an equally awesome person. Just blissful. Justin finally locked Deanna's butt in when he proposed to her March 18th of 2017 in a sweet and quiet romantic night at Davu Park while looking at the Scentsy skyline when they reenacted their first date. How sweet Justin was to have planned it and put in so much effort. He was also really nervous, I was told, because he dropped her ring in the grass. How cute and clumsy, and thank God he didn't do it today. Justin, though I haven't known you long, yet I know we are truly besties, I can honestly say that I fully trust that you will honor and cherish Deanna and love her to your absolute ability, that you'll wait on her hand and foot and provide for her like she deserves. I specifically know how you have an incredible amount of patience with her because I witnessed it firsthand this past Saturday at the bachelorette party while she FaceTimed you for an over, over an hour and a half 
drunkenly telling you how much she loved you and how much she missed you, and you told her calmly, you're gonna live. <laughs> also, you told her how to cure the hangover the next morning and put one foot on the ground while laying flat in bed, which she didn't listen to, but she, she was fine. As you can see, she lived. Listening to you calmly tell her that and how to nurse her hangover makes me realize how much you genuinely adore her and worship her, which is exactly what she deserves. What an incredible love the two of you share. I'm so happy for the both of you and one of and both of your sweet families now becoming one. I'm so happy and thankful that you asked me to celebrate in this day with you, and you both deserve absolute happiness, and I hope no one ever stands in your way because together the two of you can take on the world. Now please, if everyone would raise their glass and help me wish the bride and groom a lifetime of love and happiness, cheers to Deanna and Justin. together and I hope you have a great time. I'm happy for you. I love you. I want to wish you guys the most happiness that life has to give you. You both deserve it. You've worked hard for it. It's not easy. You got to keep working. You're going to make it. Love you both. Justin, Deanna, I love you all. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. I love you to death and congrats. So congratulations, Deanna and Justin. Love you both so much. I'm so happy to be part of your day, and I hope you are very happy. Love you long time, my D. Hey. Cheers to one of my favorite couples, Justin. I wasn't kidding. But you, if you hurt my D, my bestie, love you long time, and get it. Hey Deanna, hey Justin, congratulations. It was a wonderful, wonderful wedding. Long, live long and prosper, right? Yes, and you were a beautiful bride. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Uh, just wanted to say congratulations. Um, really happy for the both of you. Uh, obviously, I wish you all the best. Um, and, and love one another. Don't be so quick to get angry. Be quick to say sorry. And be quick to say sorry. Um, you guys are in a tough situation with, you know, kids mixing, families mingling. Um, just always, always have each other's back. I love you both. 